I know the lighting is not the best, so I apologize to begin with, but I'm going to tape all of this in Korea so they can get it edited together for next week. And it's better than what they had to work with on the, the offering thought for last weekend with the sun coming over the mountain and I kind of bleached out. All right, so we're going to do the best with what we can. I want to remind you that coming up this next weekend, Pastor Dag will be preaching on a Saturday and Sunday. We're going to have a great time of miracles and healing and salvation. This is a great weekend to bring them in. So let's round up all these new believers from the Crusades. Let's get your connect groups all coming in, and we're going to have a great time together. I want to talk to you today about what really shows a leader's love. It is amazing to me how people make the same mistakes for 2,000 years. Paul writes to the church in Thessalonica, 1 Thessalonians 1, beginning with verse 4. We know, dear brothers and sisters, that God loves you and has chosen you to be his own people. For when we brought you the good news, it was not only with words, but with power. For the Holy Spirit gave you full assurance that what we said was true. And you know the concern we had for you from the way we lived when we were with you, from the way we lived when we were with you. Now, later in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, Paul begins to talk about what I would call self-called or false leadership, people who who want to be in a position, but they don't want to live the life of sacrifice that God requires. These self-called, these this false leadership. Now, in chapter 2, verse 4, through verse 6, he begins to walk us through what these people act like and how they get into your heart. He said, For we speak as messengers approved by God to be entrusted with the good news. Our purpose is to please God, not people. He alone examines the motives of our heart. Never once did we try to win you with flattery, as you well know. For God is our witness that we were not pretending to be your friends just to get your money. As for human praise, we have never sought it from you or from anyone else. Now, I want you to notice these self-called false leaders, they win you over by flattery. They're always sip-sip. They're playing the game of sip-sip. They are professional sip-sippers. They are not five-fold ministry. They are not apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, or teachers. They're, they're sip-sippers. But sip-sippers can be very effective in manipulating people's hearts, and they manipulate you with flattery. Oh, I have time for you because you're so important in my life. True leadership doesn't attempt to win the people over. He says in verses 5 and 6, he said, we did not try to win you. See, that's not our job. Our job is not to be popular. Our job is to minister. We are not politicians. And sometimes in the in the modern world we live in, where, where churches have become event centers, and, and it's all about, oh, you're the most important thing in my life, and oh, this, and oh, they're, they're trying to win you over. And that's not our job as pastors. Our, our job is not to win you over. Our job is to point you to Jesus. Thirdly, true leadership does not befriend the people or try to make friends with people for the purpose of money. He said, we were not pretending to be your friends just to get your money. You know, there are pastors that won't say a single corrective word to people because they want to be your friend. But you know what? It's not my job to be your friend. It's my job to be your pastor. It's my job to love you enough to say what needs to be said. But there are, are those false leaders out there, these self-called people, and, and they just go around and they're trying to make friends with everybody. Oh, we love you. And they make phone calls and they play the sip sip game. But all they're really wanting is for you to give them money. <laughs> and I mean, that's, that's an ugly thing to say, but unfortunately, Paul teaches it. And then he says, as for human praise, we have never sought it from you or anyone else. These false leaders, they're looking to win a popularity contest. They want to be cool. They want everybody to like them. They, it, it's all about popularity. And Paul said, I've never sought human praise from you. I've never sought human praise from anybody. He said, now let me show you and let me remind you about 
how I showed my love for you, how I showed my concern for you. Again, 1 Thessalonians 1, 5. And you know of our concern from you, from the way we lived when we were with you. When you look at real men and real women of God, you see a life of sacrifice. You see a life of service. You see pastors that are in your homes, whether it's the middle of the rainy season or whether it's hot season or any other season. We're in your homes. We're visiting. We're giving ourselves to you. Now, that's what real pastors act like. So I want to challenge you today. Sometime look around and ask yourself, who's real and who's not?